Hello, my friends. It is Monday. It is Together Run Day. However, as you probably noticed, there is no Together Run today. I just wanted to do a little message as we go into this holiday season. And also, as there is a gap, uh, there's that part of me that really feels irritated by it, that wants to, you know, I said I would do this every week. I'm going to do this every week. Um, you know, what are you doing? Like missing a week? You could have found a way. And I could have, but I decided it was for the best not to. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about that right now, but also just give you a few other things as we go into the season. So just, um, yeah, a few messages from me. I have no notes in front of me. I'm just going to talk for a few minutes, although knowing me, it might be more. And I just wanted to check in. Firstly, I do ask this in the Together Runs, but how are you? If you are having a tough time right now, feel free to reach out. Uh, you can find me on social media. You can send me an email. Feel free to reach out. If you are struggling, um, I'd love to be there for you as I can or pass you along to someone who can be an expert in the area that you need. Uh, so that's my first thing that's most important. Next, with the Together Runs, they will be ongoing. I have been asking for people to come join me on Together Runs and, and record one themselves. And we've had quite a few people interested. So you will be hearing some guest Together Runs because the reality is in the winter, I've mentioned this on the Together Runs, it is difficult to record when it is cold. Not I mean, having the gloves, carrying the phone, fine. But more, we all know when it's cold enough, it's kind of hard to talk. Your mouth gets kind of, uh, 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 you can't really speak very well. So I've decided that I think it would be good to have some guest together runs to take over. So if you'd like to do that, you can email me about that. But the reason there's not one today is uh, if you don't follow me on social media or you don't get the email newsletter, in which case, Go to runningforreal.com, sign up anywhere. There's a nice big blue box in the corner saying join our newsletter. It's just like the Together Runs. It's just like this very me. Nothing more. Not a load of spam. I'm not going to email you on today as a Cyber Monday. Well, I am going to email you today because it is Monday, which is the day that newsletter goes out. But there's not going to be all these spammy emails. So... You can sign up anywhere there. But if you don't know that, you wouldn't know that I did go on to get COVID. I am thankfully now out of isolation. Uh, yesterday was the first day we could come out for the Together Runs. With the COVID diagnosis, I know I could have found a way to do it. But it didn't feel right going out to run or walk outside when... You know, the right thing to do is to stay in and also rest my body. And so I didn't want to stress myself out trying to get this together run out for the sake of it. Um, so I rested and I did do a run yesterday outside and I ran on a popular trail and it was really nice to do a rail trail, that is. Uh, and so I'm glad I waited. I was sad not to have a together run out this morning, but it is what it is. Um and thank you to Jeremy, uh, our podcast editor, for um, being the one. I was thinking about doing a together run and he just said, I don't know if that's a good idea. So I didn't go out for a run that day. Um, OK, so that's that. The together runs will be back again next Monday. The next thing I want to let you know is I'm really not a big fan of Cyber Monday, Black Friday. Most of the stuff we end up getting sucked into buying is junk stuff that we don't need. However... If you do want to support the brands that help keep the lights on at Running For Real, that help us have eight people that work with us, that help me and these other wonderful humans have a livelihood that is partly funded by Running For Real, you can go support our partners or go sign up because many of them have massive discounts. So um, there's Athletic Greens, Beam, Gooder, Inside Tracker, Tracksmith, uh, and you can if you want to go check out any of those. Uh, they have special deals, particularly Inside Tracker has a huge deal right now. But they all have special deals going on right now. Um, there is a link for you to go. If you go straight to Running For Real, there's a there's a partner's link. So it makes it nice and easy. All those codes are in one place. If you want to go support them, and those aren't things I think will end up in landfills, 
I feel good about supporting them. You know I am picky about who I work with. Also have a gift guide on the Running Through a website. This is filled with, yes, some uh, material goods like those items in those sponsors, but also a lot of other charitable uh, organizations you can donate to, uh, experience ideas, sustainable gifts. There's a lot more beyond just buying stuff. So if you want to go check that out, that's on the Running Through a website. And is there anything else? The only thing, I guess the final thing I want to say going into this is that we are coming into this season where it can be easy to feel like you have to run to be able to eat. Or if you eat too much, you need to starve. Or if you are, if you are eating quite a lot and enjoying the experiences, you feel guilt for that afterwards. I just want to remind you, my friend, you are you perfectly imperfect you just as you are anyone who makes you feel less than because of your physical appearance you can't cut them out especially if it's someone like family but you can distance yourself you can remind yourself that it is an insecurity within them that it's causing them to say hurtful things about you and you can say that it's not okay to use those words and to say that that hurts your feelings or to say that that is not you're not going to accept that. This time of year and going into the new year, there's a lot of conversations about burning calories, about losing weight. And I get it. It is everywhere. It bombards us. And we do usually eat quite a lot and quite a lot of, uh, you know, extra cookies and extra brownies and cake and all this. And I, I mean, not going to lie, like I some days I have, I get to the end of the day and I'm like, oh my God, I had ice cream, brownies and cookies today. And what else did I have? Like bread and I don't know, cereal. And I'm like, I didn't eat a single vegetable. I get it. Like some days I have those days too, but that is okay. No food is a bad food. No food should make you feel like you are less than. It's just food. And please don't starve yourself the day after if you don't eat, if you eat too much, what you feel is too much the day before. The way your body is going to be healthiest and happiest is by you listening to it and trusting it and respecting it. You deserve respect. You would never talk to your friends the way or your loved ones, the way that you talk to yourself for eating a little bit extra food or for looking not quite how you feel like you should look. But I just want to remind you here, you deserve that respect. Why does everyone else deserve it and not you? So be kind to yourself, please, for me. I think that's all I have to say. Just wanted to put this out there today. And um, we will be having regular episodes. We will be having regular together runs. You can go support my sponsors if you like. That would mean the world to me or go support us on um, Patreon. But friends, I hope you stay healthy. Hope you stay happy. Remember that question I asked of how are you? If you need me, I'm here. And uh, I appreciate you, each and every one of you. All right, I'll see you on Friday. Thank you.